bastion of normality, sanity, reason. Guy talks big. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. <laughs> Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. Ooh, I'll be that glad voice to tag along. What's your arangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago. Oh my god, her voice actress. I'd be working for a Novograd criminal, I'd never have believed it. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Been streaming for a minute? Yeah. I'm enjoying streaming. Great, it's fun. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. I was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can. Who might know more? So could you have done this in any order? Like I went and did Velen first, and like was like all in with the Red Baron or Bloody Baron and all that. Um, do you have to do it in the order that I've done it in, or would you have the ability to just be like, screw it, I'm going to Novigrad to start? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those mm -hmm. magic incense ingredients. Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. Doing it in any order. Wow, I was walking impressive. along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. They can't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I'll get it. I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out. He was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn you, went mad. What the hell? We're lucky this time, <laughs> though. You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. That name, Klug. Oh, there's goodies. You're gone. Alright, I've got it. Let's go. Ow. There's a drag. Should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. There must be a lever on this wall that'll open the secret passage. Hold on, Luke. I gotta, I gotta rob this man blind before I do anything else. Ooh, superior relic oil. Klug means smart in German. Of course it does. Freedom. 
free city of Novograd. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novograd stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why the... Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Menga interrogated him. He seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Guess Wait. we don't have a choice. We have to get that parcel back. But I want to hear the rest of your story. Ah, oh, God, I hate when the game interrupts itself. All sorts of goodies down here. I love goodies. Wow, we're getting like a ton of recipes. So many recipes, and since I already have a ton of recipes, the ones we're getting are like super good. Is that a rock? Hold on, I gotta look for any more stuff. You want to see my deck? That's the thing ladies want to see, man. They don't care about how smart you are, how nice you are, how attractive you are, how strong you are. Nah, dude, it's about how big your deck is. Deck size is very important. Yeah, <laughs> scoreballs, yeah. She is trying to hide her identity, but it's like, it's like, ah, oh, man, who is that insanely attractive redheaded woman that's wearing a, a cowl and the rest of her outfit is like very form fitting. Find the parcel? Yep, totally doesn't draw attention. Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my pack. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered <laughs> my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have. For one, I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. <laughs> I really like the dialogue between these two. Sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Uh, problem? Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. Guy sounds very but high I society. You not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Uh. I mean, half an advance sounds fair. 
You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works. Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Mm. Very well. Your first installment. That's just the way you do business. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. Man, her hair is like, it's not red, it is like, immensely flame red. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting. But they killed my king. Look for crevices. And droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. <laughs> Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. Rude. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. A master monster slayer in the world's largest city. Looking for rat shit. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. She cast spell and just army of Skaven Think pops out. Every hole in there. All right. Game would get, get very would get fireworks. even more interesting. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Oh yeah, I'm sure nothing terrible is about to go wrong. Good. Well. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Whoa. Interesting Never camera had work. Much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see Was Fultz a good sound. man? And... Reconciled? Uh... Oh, man. Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. <laughs> Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. He was generally okay, so it sounds like he definitely had some issues, but he so but he wasn't cruel. <laughs> he was just kind of an asshole, <laughs> but he wasn't like the other two. Hmm. Man. We all lie sometimes, but lying to yourself is running away, whereas there's really nowhere to run. Sometimes you have to escape just to forget. Your friend might have dwelled on his lost legs, but it's not like by grieving he could have grown another pair. Oh, this so, music. tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Mm. 
She was all right. I wouldn't say she was great. Not bad. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. All right, bye. Well, well. I love birds having themselves a little chat instead of working. Do the rats leaving? The job's done. Geralt, those are. I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. Oh, well, we're you're not getting her. We'll see. Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this poor son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Oh, y'all are a joke. That was a three for one. Brandon? Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I <laughs> should kill you. Shut up. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now get. Thanks, Geralt. <laughs> no need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Oniromancer. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in dreamers' abilities oh, myself. Oh, a dream caster. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. me just stealing things that nobody's garden I like nighttime it makes it easy to steal oh that don't look good just passing by wanderer or do you seek something specific 
those asking. Rudolf de Jonkier. Oh. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. And you're just I sitting out here in the dark? Just back. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. Look for your dream, lady. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. <laughs> dude, Marcus paid a pretty or, uh, penny, I might add. Uh, Soon after, I witnessed. If you want to see an outrageous hat, look out, Marius Leitdorf. Led me to fear that Dorf might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week, well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. That sounds like you have other Not problems. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. Well, how about you let me in? I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. Truth is, we're already dependent on the black bars, economically. I'll just take this as my bill. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. Hold on, I'll be right with you. Upstairs. Blood, don't spill it, please. Children, ah! oh, that's not a regular kiddo. Oh, it's a godling. She's in deep. No wonder you're so rich. Well, the doll, the attic. All right, time to check the attic. Whoa, Stop. go away. Leave it. The fact that there's a godling in the middle of this city is kind of crazy. And also does not bode well. I'm literally that hard to wake up. <laughs> I'm just I'm just making sure the godling isn't in any of these lootable things. That's Put it down, please. That's the Let's important blow. part of Don't what I'm doing. It. Please. I don't want to check the attic yet. I'm just making sure, guys. That's that's. I'm just making absolutely sure. Oh. This was just a room full of little dirt. All right, so like, see, we can. Oh wow, how long has that dumpling been there? We can confidently say there's uh, there's no critter down here. 
now we know. That's that's the important part of every mission. Stop. Go away. Leave it. Way to the next room is blocked. of a crib? Paper on which a crib has been hastily drawn by a child. There's the doll. There was a cradle on the second floor. Wonder what had happened if I laid a doll in it. Yep, no godling in any of the lootable chests. Talk, godling. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Now, I love so much that the dialogue in this game will actually change based on what you've been up to. That is so freaking cool. of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, <laughs> I gotta talk to the dreamer. Yeah, oh, yeah, hilarious. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. I know what you are, Godling. We've bumped into each other before. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless Godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a Godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and that's like one, trust me, you're a Godling. You give the Dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. <laughs> I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got this red tip. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Uh, let's make a deal. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a Yeah, you really shouldn't be here. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. I feel bad for that spirit. Because she's just like 
but your yellow eyes are a bit frightening. Look, mine are pretty. Yeah, your I, I personally find your eyes to be much scarier than my eyes, but goblins are weird little creatures. <laughs> All right, time to wake up. Hello there. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to draw a <laughs> of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. Hungry oh, furniture? Wish, but in the dream. Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I must say, I'm, I'm quite the fan of fashion of the magically inclined women of this universe. They, they have excellent taste. <clears throat> excellent taste. Yeah, I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Yep, it's haunted. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. Alright, we helped out the ghost. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? No. Smart. Don't bother me, please. Do I think Elspeth dresses like that? You know what, chat? I think that's a good place to stop for the night. Uh, we've been streaming for about six hours now. And uh, I've gotten a lot done. Novigrad is a busy freaking place. I don't even want to think about that. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Elspeth wears the same thing. I'm getting out of here. Get the, get the hell out. Sons of bitches. <laughs> why, you gotta, why you gotta be like that? <laughs>